Welcome to the Folks Finance Exchain Testnet, an expansion of Folks DeFi Hub on which you can deposit, lend, and borrow across multiple networks. The testnet is a work in progress, and features will change quickly and often. Please provide your feedback in our social channels. First, click Connect Wallet. Popular wallets like MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, and Rainbow are supported at this time. Once you're connected, make sure you have testnet assets to use in your wallet. Find a list of faucets at docs.xapp.folks.finance, which are all free to use. Without testnet assets, you won't be able to try the testnet features. Creating an account is the first step to take. Click the profile picture icon in the top right, then click Create Account. Select the chain on which you want to create the account. Click Create Account again, then sign with your wallet. To connect multiple chains, you can link or invite addresses from the account page. Linking is for adding an address that the user owns, whereas inviting is a more general concept that can also involve addresses controlled by other individuals. To link, click Link Address. Select the chain, then input the address to link. There's a small button to automatically input the in-use address to make things simpler. Click Continue and sign with your wallet. Then click Sync Chain. Click Complete Linking and sign again. Now this account has been connected to multiple chains. To invite, click Invite Address. Select the chain, then input the address to invite. You'll then need to connect to folks using that wallet. Go to the account page and accept the invitation. To deposit, go to the deposit page using the top menu. Click deposit next to the asset of your choice. Input the amount, then click deposit and sign with your wallet. To create a loan, navigate to the loan page. Click create loan, name your loan and select its type. Then click create loan and sign with your wallet. Collateralize assets to enable borrows. To add collateral to your loan, you can either click Collateralize on the asset of your choice, then select the loan in the modal, or you can click Manage Loan on any of your loans and collateralize directly. Click Collateralize on the asset of your choice, input the desired amount, then click Collateralize. Click Approve, sign with your wallet, then click Collateralize and sign again. Borrow assets on any connected chain by clicking Borrow next to the asset. Again, this can be accomplished from the Loans page or while managing a loan. After clicking Borrow, input the desired amount. Select a variable or stable interest rate, then click Borrow. Once available, your assets will be accessible on the chain you selected to borrow on. To repay borrowed assets, click Manage on the loan you want to repay. Click Repay next to the asset of your choice. Input the amount to repay, then click Repay. Click Approve and Sign, then Repay and Sign. To reduce your collateral, click Manage on the loan of your choice. Reducing will return your collateral back to your custody. Click Reduce on the selected asset, then input the amount to reduce. Click Reduce, then sign with your wallet. To delete your loan, click on the trash can icon when on the Manage screen. Click Delete Loan and sign with your wallet. To withdraw, go to the deposit page and click Withdraw on the asset of your choice. Input the amount to withdraw, then click Withdraw. Sign with your wallet. Be sure to join folks' social channels to keep up with the news, and please leave your testnet feedback in our community channels.